Hello, and welcome to Tales After Dark. This is a podcast that will be filled with scary stories and diving deep into the world's most treacherous cult crimes. Many of the paranormal and let's not meet scary stories heard here are from articles I have found on Reddit. Author information and usernames will always be included in the show notes below each episode. To submit a terrifying tale of your own, please email stories dot tales after dark at gmail.com and make sure to follow you backslash tad podcast on reddit for tales after dark fan subreddit information this show is brought to you by the mw network and produced by me your host emma dawn do you have a podcast or show idea of your own for more information on the mw network visit themommywines.com Tales After Dark is made possible by our sponsors, the Home Bookkeeper Masterclass. Looking to create a life of balance and financial freedom? Check out how I was able to ditch the nine to five grind and spend more time creating and doing the things I love by becoming a home bookkeeper. More information on the Home Bookkeeper Masterclass can be found on my company website, edjconsultinggroup.com under resources. Zaya Active. What's better than curling up in a nice pair of leggings and your Tales After Dark merch sweatshirt and listening to a spooky tale? In my completely biased opinion, not much. Visit myzaya.com backslash emadon for premium and affordable men and women's active and loungewear and make sure to check out the Tales After Dark merch store on teespring.com. If you are a brand and would like to sponsor the Tales After Dark podcast, please get in touch at stories.talesafterdark at gmail.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales After Dark. Today I am reading a no sleep story. It's kind of short, but I think it's going to be a really good one. I always try to find stories that have good um, ratings or tons of comments where people really enjoyed it, but I like to read the story for the first time here with all of you. If you have a favorite story or want to send me some stories, I have my Reddit uh, username linked in the description box below. Head on over, make sure to follow along, and that is where you can send me all kinds of stories, or you can tag me in comments, things like that. So let's get into today's story. Like I said, this is a no sleep story titled, I'm Paranoid for a Reason. As always, I will have the link to this story and the author's information always linked in the description box below. I'm paranoid for a reason. I don't think I have much time, so I'll be brief. If you see a singular tree in a forest swaying in the distance, run, like I am. All right, I think I'm safe now, so I'll tell you how this started. It was a nice night, cool air, and a soft breeze made it a perfect night to take a walk to clear my head and relax after a day of tests and presentations. Now where I live, there is a hill. And on that very hill, there is a small trail at the top where you can see a forest in the distance. Remember that. So there I was on a stroll after a long day of work when something caught my eye. A lone tree that stood far above the rest that slowly swayed from side to side. I don't know why it stuck out to me so much, but I just couldn't look away. So there I stayed in a stupor. I felt like I was in a daze, but I could feel fear growing in me the longer I stared. My phone vibrated, shaking me from my thoughts as I pulled out my phone only to see a text from my friend Alex, 
which simply read, run. Questions immediately flooded my mind as I pondered why I was sent this message. Now, a rational person might have stopped to wonder, why were you sent the message? Maybe text back asking why they told you to run, but I'm not quite rational enough to do that. Instead of doing anything like that, I decided to follow the instructions and started booking it back home. I had read enough horror stories to know that following the instructions was probably the best move, and even if it was a prank, no harm, no foul. As I started to run, I snuck a peek over my shoulder at the odd tree, and it was gone, without a trace. It had disappeared, and that's the official sign to panic. Ten seconds passed then 20. Then I heard them. Footsteps. It sounded like scurrying of hundreds of feet behind me, slowly growling louder as I started to hear it breathing right down my neck. I could hear its sporadic, ragged breaths as it chased me down. Twigs snapped and leaves crunched as we raced towards my house. By now, you may have realized that I'm a pretty cautious guy, and I think that the monster wasn't counting on one thing. I'm a gun owner. When I turned to fire, I got a glimpse of my adversary, and the only thing I could remember was the faces. Oh God, the faces. They were stretched in ungodly ways, like masks, with their eyes and mouths being replaced with empty black voids. Bang, bang, bang. Three gunshots rang out as I ran, and I could hear through my ears ringing that seemed to be 20 people of varying ages and genders screeching in unison. I'm pretty sure that held off the creature as I entered my home and locked the doors. I'm in the process of blockading my door with my couch at the moment while using my Google Home to write this message. I truly hope this reaches everyone in time. So that was another pretty short story. I, I don't know, I kind of liked it. Let me know what you think by leaving a voice memo and as always, make sure to leave a rating and review. And until next time, Stay spooky.